Hey everybody, welcome to Primetime Kitchen's How Tuesdays, episode 10. Tonight we're doing breakfast for dinner. Look, man, if you're a family in America, every once in a while you have pancakes or waffles or scrambled eggs or bacon or whatever you do it for dinner because, man, that's a great tasting meal. Tonight we're going to do that. We're going to turn it up a little bit. We're going to do some potato pancakes. They're super easy. We're going to do a poached egg and we're going to do some like a chipotle hollandaise sauce with some chorizo and some pepper mix. We're going to kind of turn the Eggs Benedict thing up a little bit and do a Southwest Eggs Benedict. Also, we're going to do some real classic French toast, just a classic French toast dish. But we're going to make some of our own syrup. We're going to do some raspberry maple syrup and some candied pecans. And then I'm going to show you how to make the perfect omelet every single time. It's real easy. And there's also a little trick if you want to make them fluffy that you probably don't know about. We'll show you that in a little bit as well. Tonight, we are drinking, drinking, drinking. That's um, really not what goes oh, with breakfast though, yeah, right? You know, it's not really what goes with breakfast. It's kind of weird. This is not your standard vitamin D milk. No? No. This is Oh, a, Lori, that's such... Lori said we should have done mimosas. Oh, well, you're right. We should have done But we're beer drunks. <laughs> so actually, this is a Bimini Twist from uh, Three Daughters. The guys in the brew bus. Angel just took the brew bus over there to this brewery for the beer, uh, big brew bus. The next one, I believe, goes, well, I won't tell you because I don't know if he said it yet. And I don't want to blow up a spot. Uh, this is good. 7%, uh, so it's a high alcohol volume. Good taste. Very hoppy. Uh, great IPA. It drinks really well. Just below room temp. Love it. Tori's drinking this, mm. which is great. We actually got turned on to this by the sommelier that works at Petty's. Uh, she's a sweet girl, and she just got this Pinot in like a, three weeks ago. We walked in, and it came in, and she loves it. Very juicy, a little dry. So if you like real juicy, kind of not semi-sweet Pinots, that won't, be your, that won't be your bag. But it is really, really good, a great drinking wine. She loves it. I think this bottle is like $13. So good. It's really good. So it's very cheap. Yep. Other than that, man, uh, I want to thank the guys over at Wassie's Meats for, for presenting Primetime Kitchen. We do love those guys. Also, um, we have opportunities for some product stuff. If you want to feature a product here on Primetime Kitchen, you can do that as well. Just uh, email us at primetimekitchen at gmail.com. We'll accept all those emails. We have some cool stuff coming up in just a little bit. Other than that, man, we want you to share the video when you get done. We'll get started here. We always start with a bit of a... A bit of a tink. My beautiful wife, Tori, is with us tonight, as always. Hold on, let me so can you do the turnaround thing? Hold on. I do the turnaround thing. It, hi! <laughs> what? Did they say you're good? Yeah, I'm sure. Do it again? No. Hold on. <laughs> I, well, I'm going to do it while I'm drinking. <laughs> Why? It, Why? Because, I mean, it sounds fun. I'm doing it while I'm drinking. Okay, go. Mm. All right, let's get going. So, this has been me to us. Also, your comments are always welcome. Uh, when we get done, share the video. That's how we get the word out and make these things bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. You can actually share right now so people can watch the thing live as we get going because we haven't really done anything yet. Tonight we're going to do some cool stuff. going to teach you how to poach in the egg tonight. And most people are like, why would I do that? Because I could just fry it and it's awesome. Well, it's just an alternative to frying it. It's a different way of cooking it. And of course, with uh, any Benedict, the poached egg is really the star of the show. So hopefully we'll get a couple of those right for you tonight. So let's get going. First things first, we're going to make our candied pecans. So we're going to start out with, uh, this is actually really easy. So if you guys want to do snacks, you can do these with walnuts. You can do this with a lot almonds, whatever. So it's real easy. Confectioner sugar. Hey, Andrea and Danny are watching this on their TV. Oh, God. <laughs> ask them how. You can ask them. Why do you always because, tell me to ask because them? Because Daniel is such an awful human being. How he... No, because Andrea's like the sweetest ever. But that guy, you know, that guy is not right. And he get that beautiful daughter. How does that happen? How does an ass like that get that stone-cold, gorgeous daughter? I'll never... Look, something ain't right in the world. <laughs> All right, so we got to uh, got um, some pecan halves, 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 what is halves, this? whatever. What are you talking about? So this is easy. I mean, just uh, so oh, Macy's what? watching Mr. Egg. Who? Macy. Oh, God, Mr. Egg. So believe it or not, we're just gonna throw these in. Yeah. I actually just let's do this first. Yeah, no, we'll throw them right on in. We put a little bit of salt in this. Not much, a little bit of salt, and we're gonna get a little bit of water. You only need a couple teaspoons. But, um, so what you want to do is make sure that all these are coated real nice. We're going to make a little syrup okay. around these. Now, if you put, 
We're, I'm not putting cinnamon in this for a reason because we're doing a raspberry maple syrup. And to be dead honest with you, I don't know how cinnamon's going to taste with it. But I know these candy pecans are going to be great. But if you wanted to add a little bit of cinnamon to these, yep. these are what you make the snack out of. So it's half a cup of confectioner sugar. You'd probably put about a half a teaspoon of cinnamon in there, a little bit of salt. It's always good. And then some water. You want to put a couple, like a little teaspoon of water? The only time that I eat these um, when they're like warm candied or whatever is when I'm at the... Um, to Bob Carr trying to be fancy time and I buy him on <laughs> the intermission. <laughs> oh, the <laughs> hot almonds. Like, the hot almond guy. Yeah, they have the, the cons too. Got the, okay, so you can see. Now look, I'm going to pull this back so you can see. See that syrup at the bottom? Hold on. Yeah. That like right there? That's kind of what you want. So you just want that sugar to coat them really well. Okay. It doesn't take a lot and you don't want to add too much water. Okay, guys? Gotcha. We want to kind of roast these. We don't want to steam them. So we're going to get a pan. Right here, with some parchment paper. All okay. Right. So you don't have the drama of all the sugars. That's right, yeah. So we want to just spread these out. Now, you really don't want them touching as much as possible. So if, you, if you're if you familiar with old Richard Pryor bits, we're cooking these roaches. Cooking these roaches up. Is all that right. what they call them? No, I mean, it hits an old bit of Richard Pryor. So in mm -hmm. the oven at 350. Okay. So we're going to roast these for about, I don't know, 12 minutes or so. Okay. And as soon as they come out, we're going to pull them over onto this nice cool counter here and let them cool off because later yeah. we're going to sprinkle those on to our classic French toast. Now, speaking of classic French toast, let's go ahead and make our compote. Now, a lot of people have heard the word compote and it sounds very fancy. I had some compote on my cheesecake. Don't do that. Strawberry compote on my cheesecake. I oh, can't stand oh. that. Yeah, so a compote basically is cooking fruit down with sugar. It's that simple, really it is. Okay. So you want to cook the fruit down, whether it be blueberries or strawberries, or whatever. You're basically cooking it down. You're creating like a broken down fruit hot jam kind of thing. That's what a compote is. Okay. And they're awesome. One pack of raspberries. All right. Gotcha. One pack of raspberries. We're gonna do about how much sugar? Sugar. Uh, There's a lot of sugar tonight. Well, you know, I mean, come on, man. I know, you don't measure. It's fine. So we wanna do this is probably about a half a cup. Okay. So, you yeah, that's, that's fine. A little bit. Well, I sorted because i got a crazy bug <laughs> happening up there. Uh, so we're going to go and turn this on. The rear is on. We're going to get that going. Okay. Get going add a little bit of water to it. Not a whole lot. Okay. You can see? Like that? How much is that? Well, probably about a cup. Yeah. So that sugar is going to, as that starts coming up, going to create a syrup. We're basically making a really concentrated raspberry syrup. Okay. So toward the end, we'll sieve out the fruit. We'll get that off there because we want that pure, beautiful pink color. Okay. We're going to add some maple syrup to that to kind of get that taste. And we'll just add as we get going and as we're happy. Okay. Because that's what we're going to put on our, our French toast. Good. Now, you notice we have a pan of water. Yep. Coming to a simmer here. This has been simmering at a low, so that's going to barely break the surface. That's what we're going to want up poaching our eggs in mm -hmm. for, uh, for as we get going. So... Speaking of that, let's go ahead and cut. And if you'll notice here, I have about a half a cup of chorizo sausage. Now, okay. <clears throat> there's a brand that Publix carries. And of course, you can get this anywhere. But there's a brand that Publix carries back in their meat department. I think the, the foam package is red. It is a really good chorizo. Now, of course, you can go to Petty's and get their chorizo, which they make in-house, which is awesome. But if it's not like easy for you to get, you can get it anywhere, really. Any chorizo will work. I just know that one has a great flavor. What in the hell? <laughs> What are you laughing at? What? I'm trying to do my thing. People are watching you on their giant big screen TV. <laughs> I, well, let me be the first to apologize. <laughs> like a real cooking show? How are they even doing that? Greg oh, said you need a gimmick to keep growing your views. A gimmick? Like what kind of gimmick would I have? Bam! <laughs> Is that taken? There's this one guy. Tom Van joined. Hey, what's up? TC. I saw that picture of TC. I think Daniel was like the first person on here. Was he really? Yeah. That tells you how horrible that guy's life is. <laughs> I mean, really, is that is is there nothing more evident of your life being a complete and total disaster that you're the first one here? You're such. <laughs> a dick. Hey, if you guys are. <laughs> it's a family show, dude. So if you're just tuning in, uh, please. At the end of the video or during the video, just share it so we can get as many people watching as possible. We're going to dice up a red onion here. Okay. Half of one. We don't need a whole lot because we're only showing you kind of what we're doing for a little bit. Gotcha. We want to do that nice little dice, like eighth of an inch cuts here. This is important, so take your time and do it right. 
Christian said that he is recommending to add five ounces of tequila in a small glass, then drink it while you're cooking. Okay. Well, I have to it tell helps you, clear I, your mind. I have some incredible tequila. I may do a shot with you guys tonight before it's over. Do it. Do it now. Stop. So, if I do it now, I'll fall over. Aww. Ask them if they want to see me do a shot of tequila. Well, mm. okay. They just tuned in. What are you cooking? <laughs> I'm cooking. So, we're making a Southwest Eggs Benedict. We're going to do a little Chipotle. Hollandaise sauce, and we're gonna make it with lime instead of lemon. That's what kind of makes it awesome. So okay. we're dicing up a little red onion there. What are you drinking? I'm drinking uh, Bimini Twist. Yeah. Uh, from uh, Three Daughters. Yep. And uh, it's Let really good see. over in St. Pete. I'm gonna get it. Right yeah, that's fine. Right here. Bimini Twist. So again, with this dice, we yep. want we want a nice uniform dice. They want you to do this with no shirt. Can you do it with no shirt? Yeah, I can. Uh, it would be so funny if right. you took your shirt off and only wore your bib. You know what the funny thing is, guys? Tori and I kind of talked this thing out a little bit. We tried to get a rough idea. We don't. You're a liar. You're a liar. So we tried to get this kind of thing worked out a little bit, right? Um, that was a threat for everybody watching. Okay. <laughs> and and then she completely sidetracks me with all this bull that you guys call about and want to do. So you can see we're kind of doing a just a real simple. Okay. This is probably too many more peppers, but it doesn't matter. My daughter will eat any leftovers that ever walked. Um, Greg wants you to cheer for a team. What team is that? Well, he any team. Oh, I'm a Bucks fan. Uh, Max is watching. Oh God. <laughs> Yellow. Oh, uh, Paul said DJ in HD. Whoa. Yeah, crazy. Huh? So the reason we're doing a little bit of a yellow pepper is color. Okay. Straight up color. So, and if you'll notice, there are no green peppers here because our green is going to be provided to us by the jalapeno. The jalapenos. You win. And you're pretty. Wow. Mm. You have everything going for you. Mm. And I'm married to you. Mm. <laughs> That's a win. Strike one. Okay, pair a bottle of Bunky, uh, Bunky, funky funky Buddha. Buddha French toast double brown ale. Oh, that'd be good. That would, but you didn't think this out. Well, I didn't. I was at work all day, oh, slaving away. Yeah, right. You had all day out there in the to old. Come and figure this out, out. Out in the orange fields, guys. Really putting it down. That's... You are such a fake. <laughs> you are such a fake. It's what just, is it? this is a julienne, or actually a dice of uh, yellow um, pepper. Shannon said that she can't wait an hour and a half for a meal. Cook it. I'm cooking it um, right she's, now. She's getting sassy. It's sassy. Tell her to sassy shut time. her damn mouth. <laughs> Jalapeno pepper's a little trick here if you want, if you're tired of, because the seeds just run down the sides. Okay. Like that. And then at that last little bit, and look at there. Yeah, because you don't want the seeds. Yeah, you don't want the seeds. They're all gone. So that way you don't have to worry about that thing. So I cut the tip. Yep. There. I don't yep. cut it. Or I don't touch it. I just cut it. Run your knife right down the side. You gotta have a good sharp knife. Are you going to cook hollandaise from scratch? Yep. And look at that. Nice little pit. You don't really waste much. And you don't have to deal with those awful, awful seeds and stuff. So there's going to be a lot of jalapeno in this dish, man. And jalapeno really isn't that, if you clean it right, if you get the seeds out, it really isn't that hot. And it has tons of great flavors. Like literally one of Tori's favorite, favorite things is jalapeno pepper. I love them. Oh, this guy told me that if you're doing it without a shirt, I have to do it in a bikini. Oh, but you guys don't see me, so. But if they, I mean, if you were wearing a bikini, they'd certainly want to see you. Shut up. They wouldn't. Honey, are we getting in the hot tub naked tonight? For sure. As so in, we do every Tuesday night. Every Tuesday night. Unless, yes. unless we get struck by lightning. Picture that. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Are we going to crush up some garlic? Yep. Um, Paul said to cook down vanilla porter syrup. Oh, for syrup. I, I tell him I've done that. Remember we cooked, a, we cooked down... Um, Actually, I didn't do it on the show. You know what I did? I cooked down a, a vanilla porter for uh, yep. for a barbecue sauce. Yep. And let me tell you, dude, it was damn good. So you basically cook it down, you get that syrup that you work with, and then build a regular barbecue sauce from there. Even with ketchup, it still ca uh, takes on the uh, the flavor of the beer for sure. It's Go real ahead. good. A little garlic here. When are you going to do some pork and brisket on the big green egg? Yeah. See, I want to do all that stuff, guys. But the problem is, I don't want to, you know, obviously we don't want to be cooking here for, I've got a 90 minute rib, rib recipe that can't lose. 90 minutes. 
Three fifty in an oven in your house with baby back ribs. They're delicious. And it, it will, I mean, it's unbelievable how good they are. Now, we course, used one fifty nine last night. We did. We did. We used Tom and Dan's uh, uh, barbecue sauce. Dude, I love it because it's really spicy. Yeah. And it's not so sweet, which I hate. I love the mustard based sauces that that um, you just use a little bit of sugar. That's great. So tomorrow, what are we gonna have at Jack's? Oh, uh, gosh, Tori, you'll have to tell me. I really am not super familiar with the menu tomorrow. Oh, hold on. I can pull it up. Okay. What Sorry. time? What time is it? Where is it? So 7 o'clock tomorrow in Orange City. Primetime Kitchen is going to be live. And if you've ever been to one of our live shows, I don't really do any cooking or anything, but here's what happens. These chefs come out. They create a cool pairing menu. And you pair up beers or cocktails or whatever with their, with their, their, uh, their chef's creations. And it actually turns out being a really cool experience. Plus, we give away a lot of prizes. We do some fun games. It's just a kind of a cool adult fun night. And it's in a card room, so if you get the urge to play poker, boom, you can play. It's that simple. Are we playing poker tomorrow night? We are not. Why? Yeah, we are. We're totally uh, playing. Okay. So my raspberries are breaking down. They're boiling really nice. You're coming to check? Yep. Let's get a check on our peanuts too, real quick. Okay. Huh? Our well, cons. Look at those things, guys. Oh, hold on. We're we're fogging, fogging up. up. Oh, sorry. Hold <laughs> on. Okay. There we go. See those things bubbling? That sugar is just going to get real candy hard on the top. It's going to be great. So now we have our raspberries. Mm. And our raspberries are breaking down into our compote. You can see they're already kind of falling apart. Yeah. And we're just going to let them keep falling apart. We're going to cook all the water out of that. So we have this beautiful raspberry syrup. Yep. And then we're going to use that to flavor some maple syrup to have a really cool uh, French toast dish a little bit later. Yeah, Leanne, we're going to be in Orange City tomorrow at 7 o'clock. It's a uh, primetime kitchen. Live taping. Live taping. That's right. So much fun All at right. Jack's. So we have the reason we wanted to prep for this now because yeah. once we start going with this saute, uh -huh. this dish is pretty much done. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and do some potato pancakes. Okay. So we're gonna take some Yukon Gold potatoes, and I don't peel mine. Okay. I know a lot of people do. I'm not gonna peel mine. I don't like doing that. I like okay. to peel because it gives texture. And we're basically gonna do this stereotypical kind of hash brown. Um, Get all fancy with that. It's like hash browns. Hey, do you ever cook with tofu? Um, no, we just we just had, we had tofu bacon at uh, King Bao this week. Oh, it was so good. You guys, by the way, an unsolicited plug. King Bao is so good. Look, you guys know me well enough to know how much I love a good deal. You can get two bao a drink and tater tots to share. And it literally is $18. It was. It was $18. For both of us. $18. And the flavor is insane. Mm -hmm. I highly recommend. Carl and his wife, they have a drinking game that every time you say dude because you're so cool like that, they drink. It helps them out. Dude. Oh. Dude, thanks. <laughs> okay, so we just did two of these Yukon Gold Potatoes. Okay. And we're going to do one more. Okay, okay. Just one more. Now, notice, they're really wet. See all that? We're gonna, we got to get that water out of there. We, what do we learn about water? you got to let it drain because well, you, yeah. it steams. Yeah, you don't want that water in there. So, And we want these uh, we want these uh, potatoes yep. to have not water because we're going to put some egg and some flour in here. And then we're going to pan fry them. We're going to create this beautiful brown little potato pancake that we're okay. going to put our egg on top of gotcha. when, we make these, uh, when we make these beautiful uh, thin dicks. So, we come over. Seriously? You squeeze it. I'm afraid I'm fixing to turn on the... Oh, okay. <laughs> I, don't the know one, I don't know which one is the disposal. Or Wait, the greatest thing that could ever happen in this show is you turn the disposal on with my hand in it. Mm, I told you if you lose um, yeah, a right, digit you're, you're or something, I'm We talk out. about it. You're out. We understand. Yeah, if I can't. I, if I gain another pound, you're out. Oh, my if God. I, cry me or If whatever. I lose one more hair, you're out. Oh. I get threatened. I love her. <laughs> hey, what brand of kitchen knife do you recommend? Shun. I think you put some. We use Shun knives. You can get them at Petty's, or excuse me, you can get them at uh, at Wassie's Meats over in Melbourne. We love those guys. Yeah. You put some. What did I do? I didn't get anything stuff on the screen. Stop it. Nothing on there. Okay. All right. So, do you do all the cooking? In the house? Yep. Of course I do. Except? Thanksgiving. Which is kind of weird. <laughs> Which is weird. Right. So drained potatoes. Yep. That's enough. You can kind of tell, really, because if you'll notice, 
that they won't stick to your hands as much. When they okay. have all that water in them, they'll stick to your hands like, like onion paper. Yep. We don't really want that. Okay. So, a little bit of flour. I think Greg misheard us. He thought that you said garlic butter with pancakes. No. Nope. We would never say we, that. We would not awful. say that. And we would never say that. So if you don't mind, stop. <laughs> <clears throat> all right. Salt. Yep. Just want to get a little inside, a little seasoning inside. Huh? Paul said that you could squeeze it in a towel and then you yeah. can get the water out. Yeah, you can. Cheesecloth, if you have some cheesecloth. Yeah. Uh, that works great. And you just basically squeeze it down. And he's right. You wrap it right up in the middle and you like you're going to make a rat tail. Okay. Just pop your little brother in his ass and it squeezes them right out. What you don't want to do is do it a bunch like that because you'll break the potato down and you'll turn it up. It'll be nasty. You want yeah. the potato to kind of hold its uh, shape. Oh my gosh. Friendly RV meals. Yes, Jade. Oh, well, that's actually not bad. Tori's got a great breakfast RV meal that she came up with. I do. So one medium egg. Okay. And a little bit of flour. Okay. We'll start with this now. Okay. I'm going to break that up. We just kind of want to toss. Justin thinks that um, Shun should totally be paying you. Oh, really? Yeah, because <laughs> you promote their knives. I do promote their knives. Yeah. But they're good products, so we, we don't mind it. So a little bit more flour. See how wet that is? Yeah. We don't want it... We don't want it crazy dry or whatever, but you do want it enough that flour gets with that egg and it creates almost like a, it's really almost like a binding batter. Okay. It's the same thing we used when we fried that chicken the other day, if you think about it. It really is the same thing. So that's good. We're going to set that aside. Okay. Now, let me tell you something real quick about these potato pancakes. Okay. Like a lot of things that we do, once you get the base of the idea down, it's mm -hmm. potatoes, it's flour, salt and pepper, and an egg. Can you help me out? Yes, once you get that down. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 hold on. Okay. Oh, don't mix the warm with the dry. Or the. There you go. Well, let's just go ahead and tap that bottle out. Mommy's got a problem. <laughs> hey, Tommy said that he's never cooked with wine before. What's your recommendation for the first meal to make with wine and what wine? Okay, a perfect question. So go get a bottle of Pinot Gris or Sauvignon Blanc, white wine. Okay. The easiest sauce in the world to make, you want to start out making a sauce, cut up one shallot, one clove of garlic, pan fry a chicken breast on both sides in olive oil and a little bit of butter. When that's done, saute your garlic and your shallot for about three minutes. Okay. Add about half a cup of cream, or excuse me, add deglaze with about a quarter of... Oh my God! Stop, that's crazy. What did I say? Deglaze with a quarter cup of wine. Okay. Cook that down. Add about, I don't know, two tablespoons of chicken stock. Cook that a little bit. Then hit it with about, a, I don't know, really about a quarter cup of cream. And then yeah. reduce that till it kind of looks like a sauce. Take it off the heat. A little pat of butter. That's a pan, that's a white wine pan sauce. That's as easy as it gets. Okay, cool. Hey, our raspberries are still just breaking down like crazy, which is great because... Why are you dressed like the devil's butler? <laughs> Why? With your Latin. <laughs> Did you win that? It was a free t-shirt. It's a free golf shirt. It's I won. not a t-shirt. I won it at a tournament. Okay. Because I'm a badass. <laughs> okay, go. Um, so let's make this. So we let's make this. Um, let's make this uh, hollandaise sauce real quick, okay? okay. And the reason why, because we can set this off to the side. So when this is done, we can just kind of keep this off to the side. Yeah. These gotta come out like right now. <laughs> oh, those are, look at that. Mmm. That looks oh, delicious. That's gonna be great. So what you want to do is, as soon as these are done, okay. You want to burn yourself as much as possible. You need to burn yourself all the time. Oh, you want to put them on the cool counter? Yes, you want to put them on the cool counter so okay. they'll cool off. Okay. Very cool. Candy pecans. So okay. now we have a little bit of water in this in this saucepan. You're gonna burn yourself, silly. Why would you do that? Okay. Don't talk to me that way. So, stay right there. Mm -hmm. We have a stainless steel pan. They said if you're Latin, they should call you Hemi. It's Jaime. No. It is. It it's is? Jaime, I think. No. It is. Uh -uh. Jim, in Spanish, I think is Jaime. It is. All right. Check out our raspberries. Look how bright this sauce is now. Look at that. Chris said you look like you're having a blast. Why can't you be like this all the time? Uh, 
I'm really not a super fun person. Care to, care to, Tori, care to? It's fine. Care to chime in? It's found. Okay, All right, go. so we're going to separate some eggs real quick. We're going to have three yolks. Okay. Oh, hi, is Jamie. Um, and then Tony said, Jaime is Jewish. Jaime is Jewish. Let's do this right now. Okay. Right. Actually, did this backwards. Put that on. Actually, let's do that. Let me, I, I, I kind of messed up here. Let me do this. Okay. Yes, it was in Fuego. Charita. Okay, so... They said you're um, turning around rapidly and not to um, blow out a knee. Okay, I won't. I promise. Okay, so we're gonna separate some, and these are good organic eggs. Use good eggs. I mean, really, you should you should use good eggs because it makes a gigantic difference in this dish. The yolks have just so much more flavor when you have them right. They're so, they're brighter, right? Yeah. They have like a they're they're like bright orange. You can't really see it on here though. I'm just busting that one. More. Not doing a good job of this tonight. It's fine. Eggs are smaller. Okay, there we go. So we have our three yolks. Okay. We're only gonna make a little of the sauce tonight because it's just me and you. Okay. Now you want to get lime. We're putting lime in there. Oh yeah. I am not a. Uh... Sorry. I'm trying to help you out. Okay. Lime. Okay. And no. that's just like half of a lime. Yeah, just half a lime. So what's the one? Okay. Yeah. Let me uh, slide right here. Maybe you can mind. We'll get one of my mini uh, uh, gift whisks right here. Now, here is the key. A little bit of salt, not much. All right. Okay. So, when you're making holidays, you kind of, you know what, I want to do one more. When you're doing hollandaise, we got the lime in there, we got our eggs in there. We want to whip this and we want to get this kind of going good. Now, we have water boiling, but we don't really want it to boil so much. And this is actually going to double in volume. Okay. But before, we want to whip it a little bit. Oh, it thickens up? Yeah, yeah it's going to thicken up. It's going oh, to actually put air in it. Yeah, 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 we're going to put air in it and as it cooks. Now I gotta get some butter in. Boop, 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 boop. Some butter. And what you wanna do is warm some butter up. Cause we're gonna be adding a lot of butter to this. Boop. And, I know that's a lot crazy, right? That is a lot of free butter. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're gonna be adding that butter here in a few minutes. So what we'll do is, let me get back here, baby, if you don't mind. Okay. Just want to just kind of break down a little bit in the microwave. Nothing crazy. Got it. Keep adding air to this. Now, Hollandaise is a really tricky machine, guys. Okay, it's really tricky because you can, if you get that, if you get this mixture too hot, it will break down on you in a in a hurry. So you're gonna like scramble some eggs? No. <laughs> okay, so that's good warm butter. Really doesn't need to be melted. Yep. It just needs to be warm so we add it as it cool down. So we're gonna go over our hot water. Oh, so okay. Yeah, so we're not using that water, we're just like sitting it over. We're it. steaming it. We're just gonna use oh, okay. double boilers, what they call it. So we're gonna keep these eggs moving really, really well. And they're gonna get frothy and they're gonna start thickening up. Uh Tracy said if you don't raffle off a PCK at my house or your house, opportunity at the Bill Style Tournament, they're gonna be super disappointed. Do it, Jimmy. In other words, I come to your house and cook? Yeah. And you have to come with me? I'll come. I'll film. We'll do it live. It'll be fun. We will do that. Yeah, Chad, he did mention the lime. He squeezed that half of a lime into uh, the bowl. Woo! What? Look, okay, see him. Look at him. Look at him. See him getting all pale? Yeah. And kind of foaming up a little bit? Yeah. I mean, 
Freudian cook. <laughs> is that Freudian? I'm almost sure it was. Okay, look at that sauce coming together real nice like that. Yeah. Now, I'm going to take it off. You should never leave it on the burner. Yeah. And we're going to add a little chipotle, a little mole there, okay? The mole is the sauce around the chipotle peppers that you get. And that's what's going to make this our dinner color, right? Oh, yeah. He's putting his fingers in it, but it's only us eating it. So it's okay. Needs a little bit more lime. More lime. So, wait, wait, wait. What are you doing? Are you just cupping that so you don't get it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want any of that. Any of the seeds in it. Mm -hmm. If you're careful with this sauce, it's good, it's got a lot of flavor. And really, if you just kind of take your time, and the cool thing is, like, this isn't like one of those things you're gonna make every weekend, guys. But it's kind of a cool little decadent thing you can learn how to do, and it's kind of fun. Oh my god, are you out of breath? No. I kinda. think you might be a little bit. No, kinda. <laughs> Too much work. I agree, oh. Leon. Is that good? It is good. Mmm, good. Like good that you need to add the butter, or? Good that needs a little bit more chipotle in there. A little bit more. So you're not putting like the peppers in there, you just put the sauce just in Just the there. mole, yeah, just the sauce okay. around it. Okay. Not mole, but. Leon said add your butter is on the meat. So you're just drizzling the butter in there. Yep. And whisking it. Gonna incorporate it in there as we drizzle it. Okay. And see how it's thickening up already even more? Yep. Look at that. I agree, Sammy. He does sound out of breath. You sons of bitches, I'm going to kill every one of you. <laughs> I'm literally going to murder every one of you fools. I am out of breath. I've got a problem with eating. And I'm sweating. And all I'm doing is stirring it. <laughs> You're whiskey. Oh, there's the dog. Oh, Leon, you got to try that one more time. Yeah, I'm going to try that one well, you know, girl. <laughs> okay, I'm bored with this. Can okay. you be done with that's that? Done. Thank done. you. Okay, that's our that's our hollandaise. Yep. Now, we don't even need this anymore. Okay. Now we're ready to we are kind of ready to get down. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and sieve off our syrup. Okay. This one right here. Come on, you're going too fast. You, calm down. Okay, so. I'm going a little crazy. Mr. Whisker. <laughs> uh, what kind of whisk do you use? <laughs> oh, the free ones that I get from the guys who watch, listen to the show and watch me be a loser all the time. Now, this is not going to look like a lot, but you got to remember, all we're doing really with this is flavoring the maple syrup. Okay. Now, you can take this syrup and drizzle it over anything. This is what you put over cheesecake. This is basically so a raspberry sauce. Now, just real quick, there is a secret to this that I'm not showing you guys because I don't really need to tonight. But let's say you get this sauce down, and look at that, it's too runny. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? You make what they call a slurry. Tori's right. So you take a little bit of water, you mix it with a little bit of cornstarch, and under heat, you know, before you do it, when you put it back in the pan or whatever, you want to create a good syrup, you just add a little cornstarch, and that will thicken right up and create that raspberry sauce that you know so well. Paul said it's not mole, it's um, adobe. Yeah, it is adobe. It's not mole. Mole has chocolate. He's right. I'm wrong. So. I'm glad you admitted it. Well, you know, I'm a big enough man to do that at times. I feel like we have too much stuff going on tonight. You're well, a little you, all over you, the place. You are all, you're all over the place. <laughs> you're everywhere. Okay, look at that. talking about your crazy person. Seriously. No, Tori, you just right. double dip, babe. Tori, I'm married to you. <laughs> How crazy is that? So good. So we're just going to add a little maple syrup to that? Yep. Make it half and half? Okay. That's going to look great on our... French toast. French toast. Right? Yep. Okay. So let's, do our, uh, let's cook our potato pancakes. Okay. And we want to do that... In our cast iron. On this bowl. Yep. Because we're almost ready. We're literally we're 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 not gonna be that far away from getting this up. I feel like we're up. far away. Do you? Yeah. Because, Why do you feel that way? Because you're like kind of all over the place. No, I'm not at all. 
all these components kind of come together at a, at a different time. That's why. I promise. Any questions out there? I don't have a beer. I don't drink. Maybe that's what's wrong. Maybe you haven't drank enough. I know I haven't. So let's do that right now. Okay. You call it good. Okay. Yeah. Cheers, baby. I made a mess tonight. You did. It's fine. Mm -hmm. So what are you making for people that just joined you? Oh yeah, let's kind of recap here. So we're making um, some breakfast for dinner. We're doing a Southwest Eggs Benedict, which is going to be a potato pancake mm -hmm. with a poached egg on top. Mm -hmm. Some of that great hollandaise we just made with some mole sauce. And we're going to do a saute of red and yellow bell pepper with yeah. jalapeno and chorizo sausage. And that's going to go on top around the plate. And then our, we're going to do some classic French toast with French bread sauteed in butter the way it's supposed to be until it's crispy. We're going to top it with our raspberry maple syrup and our candied pecans. They're delicious. I was sneaking some while I was holding the camera. So in, to cook these little potato pancakes, we're going to do some oil in this, in this okay. pan. So what beer are you drinking tonight? Yeah, tonight I'm drinking a Bimini Twist. Right there. Which is this monster right here. And the reason I chose this tonight because Angel and the guys just took the brew bus over to Tampa. Mm -hmm. And they went to Three Daughters Brewing. And this mm -hmm. is one of their beers. This is their flagship IPA, I believe. And it's a really good beer, man. Like yeah. it. 7% alcohol. It'll get you there. If you feel me. <laughs> and it tastes good. Uh, mm. um, won't think, hollandaise sauce break if you don't hold it at the same temperature? Uh, it'll break if you get it too hot. Well, breaking means you boil the butter. Okay. But it'll, what'll happen is you'll start scrambling the eggs if you get it too hot. That's why you have to kind of take your, you know, if it's getting, if you see it getting too frothy. Whisk crazy. And you see little, little clumps. Yeah. You want to whisk. You can see that ours hasn't done that at all. And that butter will come to the top. We'll just kind of reincorporate it. You can add a little bit of water, whatever. That'll come right back together. And that's actually a little thin. Okay. But that'll be fine. I would usually cook that a little bit more. We'll just set that here let it. Tracy said that that's uh, free beer. Uh, no, this is not. I bought this tonight. <laughs> Man, I have to tell you, I haven't got anything free in a while. Hey, we're going to be featuring somebody kind of cool coming up on the show soon. Mm -hmm. uh, a gentleman by the name of Jan Costa has a company called Florida Fresh, Be Florida Fresh Meat. And he ships uh, high-quality beef and chicken and goat and pork and everything all over the nation. And he gave us some food to try and... I'm telling you, man, his chicken is incredibly good. The pork was great, beautiful marbling. So we're going to be telling you about him soon. Uh, he'll be able to ship these stuff that we use on the show here to you guys so you can try making the same stuff we make here. Yeah, it's super. he's super awesome. And he's a really he's interesting, a really cool a, guy. he got a great story. He does. So, so we're basically heating up our, our cast iron. Yeah. And the reason I went down to this one, Torque, is we're only making a couple of these things tonight. We're not okay. really making that many. Okay. So we're doing our potato pancakes. And for people yeah. who just tuned in, our potato pancake. Here you go. Our potato pancake is shredded potatoes, uh, flour, egg, salt, and pepper. Now, if, if you wanted to make this differently, you could put like green onion. You could put all kinds of stuff in there if you want. Roasted red peppers. You could make whatever you want. Seriously. Right. It's just a potato pancake. So okay. we have our oil kind of coming up to temperature here. Yeah. Cast iron does get super hot, guys, so you got to be careful with that. Make sure that you have uh, the right temperature. You obviously don't want to get too hot. And we're going to make them about... Thanks, Roxanne. Roxanne said, uh, I do a great job filming. She does do a great job. She does a great job at everything. Aww, so You're trying to get it tonight. Oh, baby. Yeah, <laughs> I got news for you. The, the Bible says I get it when I want. Oh, don't. That's what the Bible says. <laughs> okay, so what's mixed in this? This is egg. Um, egg. It's flour. Yeah. And it's salt and pepper. And you shredded potatoes. And shredded potatoes. And the flour and the egg hold the hold it together. Now probably didn't drain those as well as they should have been drained because we always work on a pressure here. That's okay. But I think this will hold together and be alright. So you don't want to move them. The key is don't move them while they're cooking, because when that crust forms on the bottom, yeah. then you'll be able to flip them around and you'll be fine. You want to remove these to like something you can drain. What we'll do is we'll just move them onto a paper towel. Okay. Okay. Cool. Some right there. Yep. All right. So what are you gonna do now? We're gonna poach some eggs. Poaching some eggs. Okay. So we're whipping eggs, whisking eggs, poaching eggs. So see that water? Yes. How it's barely simmering? Yep. 
That's exactly what we want. You do not want your poaching water to boil. Okay. And there's actually kind of a cool trick. We're going to use the, vin the vinegar trick this time. And there's another trick that Alton Brown, uh, for you guys who are foodies, Alton Brown does that's actually kind of cool. It's the swirl method. So you want to poach an egg. One of the big things is that outer part of that white kind of goes off into the, off into the thing. You don't want that. You want right. to kind of stay it together. So what you do is, is when you get your water going, yep. you take a spoon and you get it going in a circle so it's kind of going really, really, really good. And then crack your egg right in the center of it. Okay. And the motion like this will oh, keep the egg in the around. dead center, and then you just cover it up and steam it for about three minutes, and then you have a beautiful poached egg that can stay together. That's we're gonna, cool. We're going to use the other method tonight. We're going to use the vinegar method. Okay. So what you want some water, uh, simmering water. You want a little bit of salt in there. Okay. Oh, probably about a teaspoon or whatever, considering. Yep. And then you want probably about two teaspoons of white vinegar. One. Okay. Two. So... Did now, I already miss what this does? Yeah, because I didn't tell you yet. Oh, okay. So the vinegar actually keeps the egg from kind of separating and, and kind of going apart. You'll see. Okay. It'll actually stay together really well, and these poached eggs will cook perfectly. The oven was on, but it was for the candy pecans for the French toast. Yeah. But, and they are yummy. So I'm going to do this <laughs> while he's doing that. Are you stealing my poached eggs? Nope, I'm stealing the pecans. So let's do They cook pretty quick. Mm. That's like a perfect that looks pancake. So good. <laughs> what are we putting on these? We're gonna put a, a poached egg and we're gonna put some uh Nope, you're not ruining mine. Putting that hollandaise yucca on there. Okay. And these are nice and crispy, so if you're worried about texture in your meal tonight. Because remember, we're doing this for dinner. The texture in your meal tonight is going to be from these great crispy eggs. Yeah. And because we're using flour, what do you make breading for chicken wings with? You make it with flour. So this is going to be really crispy, but on the inside, cool. kind of gooey and yummy. Yeah. So we have a good simmer coming. Excuse me with our... We have a good simmer with our water so we can poach these eggs. Cool. So I'm ready. Let's, let's, poach, let's poach some eggs. Looks crazy. So what you want to do? That one's stuck on there. That's actually not exactly at all what it's supposed to do. I don't know what it's supposed to do, so that looks great to me. Okay. Does yeah. the vinegar flavor the eggs at all? Oh, you know it's actually, I have to tell you, you know what? Today, because I haven't done this in so long, I wondered that very thing, but I don't think it does at all, matter of fact. I don't, I don't think there's going to be much flavoring at all, but you can see how that egg, look at that, how that's going to be perfect like that. So what's going to happen cool. is the top part of the egg that you can't see because it's trans, kind of translucent. We can see it. It's going to cook. So I'm going to go ahead and cover this up because we want to keep that steam, steam in there. Yeah. Wow. So we want to keep that in there. So we're on the, we're, we're actually pretty close to plating the holidays that the, 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 uh, the, the French toast is going to go very, very fast because it's basically French toast. We already have our syrup done, so we're almost done. you want to done. cut it up? Cut what up? The French toast. Yeah, we can do that in a second. Okay. But I, I got to saute all this down first okay. so I can have some room. Cool. So these potato pancakes will be doing good. Yeah. And then I'm going to go ahead and get... Um, I'm just going to use that. I'm not going to do that because I don't really need to. Um, Ryan is Ryan's telling you to cover the pan. Cover what pan? I don't the know. The frying pan? I guess. Don't cover a frying pan. What are you doing? You cover this pan because you want that stand. Look at those great. Oh, hold on. I want to see. They look like little ghosts. But see how the egg is not kind of, is not going off? So yeah. we'll, we'll get the entire egg there. And you want to cook these about probably three minutes. Yeah. And that, that water should just be barely moving. I mean, you don't want it rolling at all. You right, just want it right, barely right. simmering. So I think our... our uh, Sam favorite. said he just had dinner, but now he's hungry. <laughs> we have our potato pancakes are done. So let's go and get those off. Good. Okay. So beautiful and crispy. They are gorgeous. And they're going to plate so awesome. They're going to really make our our, uh, our plate look great. I'm just going to move our oil over here because we don't want to disturb that thing too much. Very Go ahead cool. Saute pan here. Jeremy said you only cooked you only cooked uh, three eggs, but you made four pan patties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's because I don't like the eggs. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Also, 
We do have a little bit of a, a mm. pepper jack. Mark Payne said, aren't there metal rings that you can use um, yes. for the poached eggs? <laughs> yeah, Mark's right. Hey, tell him what's up, dude. Hey, man, good to see you, buddy. Uh, yeah, they're, they're, you can do that. Honestly, Mark, you're 100% right. Mark actually worked in a professional kitchen, so to him, like that's no big deal. But you're right. For, for hash browns or anything like that, they have those beautiful metal rings. Yep. And if you go to restaurant supply stores, you can buy those things. And they don't cost anything. And guys, they will come in way more handy than you believe. You'll wind up using them a lot. Right. But he's absolutely right. Let me see. Look how fancy. It's going to be nice. It's a little fancy. I'm a little uh, in awe about this because I see you cook everything else. I just don't see you cook this very often. <laughs> All right, so, so. we got our pan heated up here, mm -hmm. and we're going to get this thing raging hot. I mean really, really hot because when these hit the pan, these vegetables, which is the red onion, red pepper, uh, yellow pepper, jalapeno, and garlic. Jalapeno We are and literally, the, and then we're going to put this chorizo in there. Okay. And we're not actually going to put hardly any fat in this pan at all. We're going to saute this chorizo down, and the fat from the chorizo is it's really what's going to wind up cooking everything else. Yeah, it's going to be great. Okay, cool. And then we are literally done. Then we're going to cook this. We're going to get our big pan going with some butter, and we're going to make some French toast like you ain't... Mark, what, what? The, my most favorite thing that he cooks is probably, well, right now it's succotash. I get addicted to um, different things like every couple of weeks. So, my right now, it's succotash. My favorite thing in the world to cook and eat is, uh, by the way, that wild mushroom risotto that we made last week with the smoked gouda. I don't know if anybody tried to make it at home. That was amazing. I, I honestly, I am, the, I am my worst critic, and I thought yep. that was one of the best things I've ever made. It was really good. I hope you guys had the same experience. It came out. It was, it was awesome. These candy pecans are delicious. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm let's hungry. Chorizo in. Okay. Hear that already, right? Chorizo, spicy sausage. So, what inspires your recipes? Uh, actually, this, um, I honestly, I try to cook things that I think people will love. I mean, I really do. Oh, we don't want that. Oh, when I covered it, did it? No, you're fine. You're fine. Okay. I suppose it, let, me, let me hop in a little bit, ready? Thank you. That was good. Get that out of There's one post dead. Oh. Let's get that. And there's another one right there. And the yolk is a little done. And there's one right there. And those cool. are still, we can still, those are still medium. That one's kind of that busted. But that happens to put. I don't like yucca. Uh, okay. Look how fast it's, because we have a pan nice and hot. Look how much fat that's already rendered down. Yeah. We're, we're ready to go in our veggies. Yeah, go. So, red onion, pepper, garlic. Yep. Got that great color in there. Thing, I, I told Tori how to do it this weekend. You I did. did. You I did. Can, hold on. I can do this. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Put it down. We might make a mess. Yep, get it down there. Hold on. Okay. I'm... Like, bring the... Oh, no, Tori! What are you doing? It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're burning yourself with crazy hot vegetables, aren't you? Oh, I think I'll have more wine. So anyway, we're gonna get those done. Good job. Well, let's get more veggies in there since you throw all the rest of them on the floor, of course. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, there we go. So yeah, we have to put that over. It's gonna take you a month to clean this kitchen tonight, by the way. <laughs> it is gonna take you a month. <laughs> now, we do have a little bit of heat. It smells so good. We have a little bit of our heat in our hollandaise. Yeah. But we probably want to add a little bit more here. So we're gonna add a little bit of cayenne pepper to this. Yep. Not a whole lot. Okay. The floor's a mess. Oh, it is. I, I am laughing inside because I know you're going to have to clean it up and it's making me so happy. <laughs> My arm is cooked. My yeah. foot's cooked, I think. A little bit of cayenne. Okay. That's a lot of cayenne. <laughs> Daniel said, best episode. Okay, so you actually want these veggies a little crunchy, so I don't mind letting them kind of stay there. So we're going to do that for a few minutes. Yep. We're going to move this out of the way because those are ready to go. We're going okay. to pick that up real quick. So we're going to get this over here. Yeah. Out of the way because we're about to put this big daddy pan on. So this is ready. All right, let's do it. All right. So here's how we would plate this. Okay. Hold on. And we're going to put this on a small plate because I'm going to put the. We're going to stretch the. Um, mm -hmm. The. Uh, uh, the. Um, 
the French toast out for a little bit. We'll put a little bit of our maple syrup in there. That's all we're doing, just a good maple syrup. I didn't even get that. That's all it is, but maple syrup in there. Okay. Oh, that floor. See, Walter wants me to cook more. Okay. I agree, Walter. Oh my gosh, oh my goodness. I kind of feel like you're being a little bit bougie tonight I'm because fine. I messed up a little Stop bit. Stop it. You didn't mess up. You're fine. Don't talk to me. Stop it. <laughs> That's what people do to... Our poached egg. Okay. Okay. We're going to do a little bit of this. Where is my grater? Right a little bit. A little bit of this. Pepper. Just, okay. uh -huh. A little bit of this pepper jack cheese. Okay. This is pepper jack cheese. That's all you need. And. They said that you need gas. Yeah, I do. They're 100% <laughs> right. They're 100% right. I need gas. Tell every one of them you're welcome to come to my house and make it happen. I will gladly listen to every option they have. Tony, I do have a really good box of Cheerios up in the cabinet. I can certainly throw something together. We'll have fun, though. <laughs> All right. Hollandaise? Yep. This is our our uh, our Mexican holidays, which is basically hollandaise with lime and mole. Southwest. Okay. Daniel wants to come over for a live show on a Tuesday. You know what? Nothing in the world needs to happen more than that. I agree. Chorizo. Look how pretty this is. Vicky, I should weigh 200 pounds. And a little bit of fresh cilantro. My foot. I think I burned my foot. <laughs> and there you go. So there's our Southwest Eggs Benedict. Oh my God, that looks so delicious. Now let's get some French toast going. And we can call this good for the night. Well, you better watch out for that mess you made on the floor. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. French toast. So we start with a nice little loaf of French bread. We went to Publix. We did go to Publix. We went to Publix. I have literally almost killed myself twice on that message you just made. Oh my God. Cry me a river. Let me tell you something. Do you know what kind of mess you make every single night on the floor? Hey, I was trying something new. It's just because I have PP problems. <laughs> we like to cut our French toast at an angle. Yep. We're going to do about four pieces. Jeremy, um, the reason that he didn't put um, diced uh, potatoes in there is because we have a potato cake. It's sitting on a potato cake, which is making it amazing. Thanks for getting my back, Tori. That guy got no crap. I got you. Screw you, buddy. <laughs> Hey, you didn't uh, touch tips? Butter. Touch tips. These guys. It's your other finger, but I'm not. You know what? It doesn't matter. I'm not being judgy. We're almost done. That look good, Tor? Yeah, it looks delicious. Um, Jason, screw you. It's not a mess, buddy. <laughs> it's it's very moppable. All right, let's do this. I know how to use that. Okay, so. Okay, I'm going to set that up to the side. Okay. We have to make our egg wash. Oh, roasted corn would have been good with the peppers. I agree. Yeah, you can do that. You to, again, the cool thing is, do whatever you want. It doesn't matter. You can you can literally add whatever you want to it. So it's completely up to you. The dogs are slowly trying to make their way into the kitchen. Hold on, I have to get them. They're trying to slowly make their way into the kitchen <laughs> to, to eat everything that, that I there, just spilled ever. Is there the worst ever? Okay. Okay. We have three eggs. Okay. Now, usually, usually I would add a little bit of sugar to that. And a little okay. bit of cinnamon. All Why right. Yeah. Not gonna do that tonight. Why not? Uh, because we just want a nice, pure little bit of cream. Are you soaking your French bread for French toast? No. Nope. Okay, soak it. We're just gonna put it in. We're gonna. Uh, let's see. Okay. Let's move our. Here. We don't need our pan super hot for this, guys. <laughs> it's floor. Yes, it's the worst. 
I did burn the top of my foot though while we're all talking about it. But you know what? It, it, here's the thing. For tonight, you learned something. You know what that is? Not to flip food. You don't know how to flip veggies yet. No, I look. Stop being judgy. The only lesson we learned tonight is not to wear flip flops in the kitchen. No, Tori, I disagree 100%. <laughs> this is a travesty. This looks like a frat boy had a puking contest in here. Okay, look. <laughs> okay. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm gonna put a little bit of sugar. Not much, but usually put a little bit of sugar and cinnamon in this and a little bit of milk. I don't have any milk. We'll use cream tonight. It won't matter. This is good. Okay. French bread. Bread matters. Let it soak a little bit. Let it soak. Hands on. Here we go. Right yeah. in. In the hot butter. Butter, 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 butter. Butter's going to make it taste better. It's going to get them get that beautiful brown that you want. Okay. It's a lot of space we have in this. Yep. Okay. Well, I'm going to come over here. Okay. And I'm going to get this glass of wine. Okay. And then... We're gonna watch you. Yeah, because we're almost done here. Mm -hmm. Almost done with our breakfast for dinner. And I'm not gonna be able to do the perfect omelet tonight. We'll do it another time. Yeah, it's, it's, it's too much time. We've already done eggs. It's fine. Okay, Sharon said that we need to have a contest that people can enter and win a chance to come over and hang out with us on Tuesdays. They'll on time. and they'll bring the adult beverage. Um. Well, I'm telling you, I think that um, I think that idea about throwing it into the file tournament. poker tournament actually isn't a bad idea. I mean, I, I agree. I, I agree. I know the guys over. Um, look at that. Mm. You know, we get our we get our pan low because we're not in a hurry. It doesn't really matter at all. Okay. Everybody's made French toast. This is just a classic way to make it. The thing is, just cook it in butter. Jason said that the cinnamon would have played well with the chorizo. Uh, well, this thing, this is not going to have anything to do with the chorizo. Although he's right, this is a totally different dish. I think the cinnamon would wouldn't have been that bad with the chorizo. So what we made tonight was yeah, because we're about to plate this, so we can kind of go over here and hang out. We are. So tonight we made this beautiful. <clears throat> it's a Southwest. Um, eggs Benedict. Instead of the English muffin, we did a potato pancake. We did a poached egg. And we have um, uh, like a chipotle hollandaise sauce, which is basically instead of lemon, you use lime. Yeah. And some mole in there for some flavor. And we sauteed down some chorizo sausage. Yeah. And some diced pepper and jalapeno. And just some fresh cilantro on top. It's a real nice, hearty dish. And it's good and fun to kind of look at, you know? Yeah, it looks awesome. Do you need the plate? Yeah. We'll sit right here for a second. Okay. And then what we're going to do now is make our classic French toast. Yep. And as soon as this cooks, it's got a little bit more, not much. Going to give us that nice brown color that we love. And then we're going to serve our French toast. And we made ourselves this beautiful raspberry maple syrup. And a little bit earlier, first thing we did tonight candy is make these beautiful candy pecans. Now, what you could do with these, because yep. like you can look too, like a brittle, right? Oh, yeah. What you can do with these, because you can look at that crunch. It's so great. Mm -hmm. mm, God, they're so delicious. You could put these in a blender. Mm -hmm. Treat like a powder in them. That's so good. We're just gonna kind of sprinkle them over there because they're, they're they're and they're gonna give you great texture with this French toast, which is kind of soft, you know. The only other time that I've had these was uh -huh. when I go to the fancy musicals. Oh yeah, when you go to Dr. at Bob Bob's car or Dr. Phillips. <laughs> Well, it's Dr. Phillips now, but it used to be Bob Carr. Mm -mm. Yeah, it did. Well, that, that building that used to be Bob Carr. I know. But you're saying where all the fancy concerts yes. used to be. Yes. Tori? Why do you try to correct me all the time? Okay. By the way, just so you know, look at that. That is so crispy where I put that, where I put this, it sank through the thing. So, mm. there's our four pieces of toast. Let's yeah. go do this. Get this going right. All right. Bingo. Mm -hmm. So we have our our uh, beautiful raspberry maple. God, this is so good. And of course, you want to just put some right down the... Paul said maybe you should chop that peca those pecans up with a knife a little bit. You could. We'll do it. Okay, we'll do it. We'll do it, Paul. And this is raspberry maple syrup. Raspberry, raspberry maple syrup. It's so good. 
I'll take Paul's advice. Okay. Put a couple of mine. Right? Yep. Yeah, Sean, um, you can get the recipe at ptkradio.com. We will put it up tomorrow. And at the very end, you have to do Mitchell. We paired Omen, <laughs> Omen <laughs> Pinot Noir. Well, I don't know if we paired Omen. Did we do that? Did we yeah. really pair it up? Um, Jason said that maybe you can do something diabetic friendly in the future. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to blow up Jimmy Spot or anything, but he does, he is pre diabetic. And what I tell you, babe. You lose an appendage. You're outie five. I'm outie. Mmm, that looks amazing. All right, guys. So basically, we did our breakfast for dinner tonight. We have our beautiful Southwest Eggs Benedict, which is a potato pancake poached mm -hmm. egg. Mm -hmm. A little bit of jack cheese on top of that mm -hmm. with our uh, mix of little diced chipotle sausage. Red and yellow bell pepper and jalapeno with a little bit of cilantro. Okay. And our classic French toast, man, which is basically French bread dipped in egg, pan fried in butter, with a little bit of our beautiful, delicious raspberry compote kind of maple syrup with some candied pecans. It'll give it a little texture. Hope you guys enjoyed this. This is actually pretty easy stuff to make. It's a little complicated. Now, you gotta remember, I would have prepped for this dish like an hour in advance and everything would have been cut, everything would have been ready to go, but we like to show you, try to show you as many techniques as we possibly can. Um, if you enjoyed the video tonight, share it for us, please. And uh, if you decide to make either one of these dishes, please send it to us at ptkradio.com. Uh, don't forget that tomorrow night, we're going to be at Jake's 29 in Orange City. It's part of that Orange City Racing and Card Club out there. Uh, they have a lot of seats up front. The menu's pretty darn good, and it's only $30, like right at 30 bucks for a drink and a dish, three of those. Yeah. And, of course, we'll have plenty of games, tons of prizes, and we hope to see you out there at 7 o'clock in Orange City. Also, if you have any interest in the Savannah trip, we are kind of getting a little bit closer to that. We did get some of the numbers back today to kind of get a final number of what that price will look like. Um, you also can get merch for the show at ptkradio.com. We have some t-shirts. We have uh, some glassware, some mugs, and stuff like that. And again, share, share, share. We really appreciate it. And we can keep these things coming for you. If you have any suggestions, by the way, for anything to cook on the show, yeah. email us at primetimekitchen at gmail.com. That way we can kind of figure that out. And Do it. That, email me yeah. funny stuff. Hey, and all the podcasts, by the way, all the shows that we've done are all up on our website, ptkradio.com. It links right through to the Real Radio site. And you can see and hear everything we've done. So we really appreciate the support. We'll keep this thing coming as long as we can. And uh, we'll see you next week right here on Primetime Kitchen's Owl Tuesdays. Bye-bye. Bye, Trey. Now, you better clean up that floor. <laughs>